Hi and welcome to the workshop. Today I'm looking at a couple of my father's hard point saws. A small universal saw and a fine cut tenon saw. And he said to me yesterday, I'm having some trouble with these. I've used the universal saw uh, quite a bit in the past for wood, but I've used it on some plastic, which apparently it's fine for, but now the teeth are all clogged up. So I'm going to be trying to fix that. On the fine cut tenon saw, this is brand new, and he said he tried to use it, and it just binds up as soon as he gets into the cut. Now that's something I've experienced myself uh, with a similar saw in the past, so we're going to try and do something uh, to fix that. So stay tuned. Let's start by looking at this universal saw uh, used on some plastic, and what's happened is that plastic has coated some of the teeth mostly on the leading edge and mostly in the central section of the blade. So what I'm going to do is take a file card or file brush, also known as that, used to clean out the teeth of files. The metal wires in this shouldn't be as hard as the teeth, so we should be able to clean the teeth quite effectively. Just a few stubborn places there. But that's now looking an awful lot better. Can't see any plastic there, uh, with my eyes at least. The magnifying glass might show a little bit in there. But we'll try that out. Uh, see how it goes. Now let's look at the fine finish uh, tenon saw. It feels as though there's no set on there, but the um, best way is to take something flat, a piece of MDF for example, put it on the plate and run it off the, off the teeth. And it catches It's about in one place, I think there's one tooth that's actually got a set on it from this side, on this other side. Well, to be honest, there's virtually nothing there either. So I can quite see how difficult that's going to be to cut anything that's any thicker than really <laughs> the, uh, the depth of those teeth. The other thing is the coating on it. It's got a lacquer on there, presumably to prevent it rusting, but that lacquer adds thickness to the saw plate, so when the teeth were set, they probably were set to about the thickness that the lacquer is. So the lacquer is what is making that set virtually useless. And, um, well, we'll try and take the lacquer off, and we shall uh, retest the set, try the saw out, and if it needs it, I will attempt to set the teeth a little bit. But they are brittle because they've been hardened, so they might just break off. To remove the finish that's on here, uh, first thing I need to do is test with the solvents I've got to see if any of them are going to dissolve it. So I'll just put a drop of each solvent that I have. And you'll see I'm working by an open window when you're using solvents. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of ventilation around. Now I'll take a paper towel and see if any of those are melting into the finish. Now all of those are struggling to get the lacquer off, so it may be that I'll need to scrape that off. Another option would be to crack out some paint stripper and that would uh, probably take it off. I tried heat as well, but uh, it's very easy to overheat the metal, that's why I tried it on the end. It does actually loosen up the lacquer around the peripheral edges. As you can see with the blade warmed up, the uh, lacquer comes off a lot easier. 
Now the universal saw should cross cut reasonably well, although leaving a rough surface. So, quite a rough surface. So I think it cuts better than it did, simply because we've unclogged the teeth, but I also think, I think it's going dull and probably it wants replacing. So these are not easy to sharpen uh, because these are hardened teeth. If you go on there with a hard file, you'll be wearing away as much of the file as you are the teeth. To demonstrate that point, I've got a cheap saw file here. Budget saw file for a budget saw. <clears throat> if we try and use this in there, it's just skating over the teeth, so we really struggle to sharpen that. That is still binding a little bit in the cup. A lot better than it was, but I suppose for small work that would be fine, but to make it a bit more capable of a wider range of tasks, I'll see if I can set these teeth. So I'm trying this up nice and close to the handle, just in case we do end up breaking the teeth off. But so far, that looks okay. And there is a very slight difference. So hopefully, if we do the whole plate, then uh, we should see an improvement in cutting. So I've finished setting the teeth now. Uh, let's give it another go. Before I get all the way through, I'm almost there, but you can see it's going through quite easily. It's not jamming. Now looking at the quality of the cut, this was before adding any set, and this is after. It's a little bit rougher, but the cut was so much easier. And that's the, uh, the payoff. A little bit rougher, but a much easier cut. So now I've got a couple of saws to give back to my dad. The universal saw uh, is working reasonably okay, but it's getting towards the dull side and probably wants to replace that. The tenon saw now actually has a little bit of set to it and it's actually working really quite well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it. I'll see you next time. Cheerio. I do find that the short universal saws are very handy for the DIYer and they do cut nice and fast, either cross cut or rip cut. Not um, as good as traditional saws, so if you've got a rip cut saw and a cross cut saw and you use them in the correct um, applications then they'll work better than this, but this single saw can do both jobs pretty well. The idea of hard point saws is that uh, they're cheap and when they do become dull you throw them away by another one. The manufacturing process is uh, streamlined, um, very efficient, the components are cheap so we have plastic handles, we don't have particularly good finishes, folded backs on tenon saws are very thin, not much metal in there at all and things flex they you know in the hand they they don't feel as good as a, as a traditional saw but they do cut and they cut very well now during manufacture the teeth are sharpened and then they're hardened hardened to a point where they stay sharp for a long time probably five times as long as a traditional saw but it also means that they're very difficult to resharpen if you try and do it with a saw file, then you're going to blunt that saw file very quickly. So it really is a use it until it's dull, then throw it away.